Hey, what's up, guys? The Baldi Combinator here, bringing you guys another bombastic video. And as you can see, the gameplay looks a little bit weird, and that's because I recorded this at my native resolution. Well, usually I record a demo and then play it and then just record it with fraps on 1080p, but basically, demos just didn't work for me today. I recorded a few, but none of them worked. That's kind of strange and odd, and I was very frustrated. I just went out there and recorded live. And uh, so that's why the gameplay looks a little bit stretched out. And also you have probably noticed that I play deathmatch. And that's because I couldn't get any good gameplay on classic modes. I mean I was trying so hard but it didn't work out. I mean maybe it's just not my day today. But anyway this video isn't about the gameplay. In this commentary I'm just gonna be telling you guys should you buy Operation Phoenix. So let's get right into the commentary. So Operation Phoenix was released today for Counter-Strike Global Offensive. It's sort of like new map collection, but it isn't really new. It only has a new name, because all maps in this operation are taken from previous operations, being Payback and Bravo. That's a bit strange, because I actually expected Valve to add at least few more maps to this operation. And I actually thought this operation might be the best one, because it would be featuring maps from older operations and some new ones, but finds out it only features maps from the old OPs. And that's kinda sad, I mean, Valve could have added a little bit more maps, but uh, hey, maybe these maps are even better, and maybe these maps are the best made by the community. So I can't really complain about that. But uh, should you buy this map collection or not? Well, actually, this is an extremely opinion-based question. For the previous operations, uh, I could say a few facts about each map, I could say uh, which map is good, which one is bad, which spot on the map is bad, which one is good, but here pretty much all maps are extremely, extremely good. Except the Motel, because I think the Motel just isn't the best map uh, in this operation, and I just don't like the Motel, but anyway, rest of the maps are just fantastic, I mean, there are the best maps from both operations, and... Uh, I mean, people seem to enjoy these if they voted for them. But uh, actually, I like the map collection. I think the maps are just fantastic. But uh, should you actually buy them? Now, that's a good question. Well, if you enjoyed previous operations, then you most likely are gonna enjoy this one as well. Because it's featuring the same super cool maps. But uh, if you haven't bought any of the operations then definitely go ahead and get this one. I mean it's only two euros. It's an extremely good deal for that many maps. I mean they are fun, there are many maps and it's just a fantastic deal if you have never tried any of them before. But uh, if you have bought one operation then uh, yes definitely get this one. I mean you're gonna enjoy the rest of the maps as well and you're also gonna have some great time playing the maps you already played before because damn these are just fantastic the, uh, this collection features all the best maps from both operations so I think it's just worth it but if you had both both operations like me then you might consider not getting this map collection because well I mean you have already played all maps uh, you have already experienced all of them and you can still play them on community servers so why should you actually get this one? Well, I got this map collection because, well, I like Counter-Strike and the more maps the better. But hey, this map pack is only two zeros. Two zeros. Now let me give you guys a quick comparison. You can either spend two zeros on a Coca-Cola bottle, the big one, uh, or you can buy this map collection. And you do the math, you decide which one's better for you. But in my opinion, this map pack is just too good not to buy because it's cheap it features the best maps from both operations and even if you had bought both operations before it's not gonna be a waste of money if you buy this one just because the maps are fantastic I can't really complain anyway guys hope you guys did enjoy this video in my opinion this is one of the best operations it might seem like a waste of money because the old maps are brought back but honestly these old maps are just phenomenal but uh, you have guys probably noticed that I have this nice little knife and some of you might already have typed comments saying hey where did you get this knife and stuff like that well actually I didn't open up a case and I also didn't buy it I mean cases in my opinion are just bullshit you can't get good items in there but buying a knife wouldn't seem 
kind of logical because damn they cost a lot of money but actually I went into Counter-Strike and I went to my inventory and damn the knife was just there I mean it kind of showed up I don't know how it happened but uh, it, it was it was just there I mean it just showed up what the fuck I couldn't understand it myself but honestly actually I borrowed this knife from a friend he lended it to me I mean his name is migrating me young <laughs> And I know I pronounce him incorrectly again, but uh, I can't really understand his name correctly, but I mean, having a knife for about an hour was just a fantastic experience, but uh, to pay like 70, 80 or 90 euros for a knife just to get that skin on your Counter-Strike Global Offensive, I mean, that's just not too good. I mean, you could spend those euros on something more practical. But uh, it was it was definitely a great experience to have this knife, and I definitely had fun. Thank you, Migrating Mianek. But anyway, guys, hope you did enjoy the video, and if you did, make sure to give this video a like and share this video with your friends. And also, let me know: Are you going to buy this Operation Phoenix or not? And it's been the Bolly Commentator. I'll see you all later. Peace.